Hey, how's it going everyone? So in this video, we're going down to the Titan II Missile Museum just south of Tucson. Got some photos from around the base here. Now, I have some video that's coming up, which is going to be the full tour. So look for that on my Steady Productions channel. But in the meantime, get in food and then head down. Hey, um, can I get a carne asada burrito, please? Uh, that'd be it. Hey guys, great example of the V1 working right now. This is a shout out again to V1. I'm picking up uh, Speed Trap way ahead up there. We'll see him, he's probably in the center median. So some fun facts about Interstate 19 which you're just entering is the only freeway in the continental US to have metric signage and that's due to the metric conversion X. So you can see the sign right here it says Tucson 3 kilometers for the airport there. Now the reason for this was due to President Ford signing the Metric Conversion Act which gave all the departments of transportation in each state the option to get federal funds to help convert the signage to metric throughout the continental US as opposed to the current imperial system. Now going forward, President Reagan when he was elected he got rid of that board so that program went away but it's pretty cool because this is one of the only areas in the continental US to have metric signing and it's a full freeway. So. Pretty cool stuff. Quarter inch was gonna say that's a little. Yeah, quarter inch we took the sun about. Yeah, it's about. Yeah. Probably yeah, about four. There you go. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Cool. Uh, That's so cool to see in real life. <laughs> you guys ever watch that, uh, there's a channel on YouTube, uh, Death Wears Bunny Slippers, there's a guy that's, I think in Arkansas, that's rebuilding one of these. I'm sorry? There's a channel on YouTube where a guy's actually rebuilding one of these and using it as, oh, like a, yeah. as a house. There's some people, I've seen pictures, someone showed me. It's about... Oh, yeah, I think the channel. 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 Yeah, I mean, just thinking about like how thick these doors are and everything. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, well, the big problem is getting all the debris out of it. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, there's a couple sites down here that are still, I mean, you travel by them. There's one like down the road. Oh, yeah. That's fully blown up. Oh, so yeah. They backfill it with gravel. Yeah, watch. All the way to the right. Green light? Yeah. Let go. That's it, your job is done. Oh, where's your oops button? Oh, I forgot, I changed my mind, but. There's that. No, that's something that totally unrelated. There's not one. Okay. What we do, we can't stop. That green light means the butterfly control valve is good. Batteries activated. There are two batteries on that missile being force fed electrolyte. That they'd been dry to this point in time. They had bladders, now they're all going into the battery. 28 seconds are gonna power up. APS power light tells us. The missile's on its own power. It is one happy camper, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't listen to any more humans now. It's going to do its job. <laughs> Silo doors opening. That's the Tipsy alarm going off. You want the door opening, you're going to launch your missile. Anything from the guy that's coming to the computer at the last second is going to the computer now. I'm going to start to the missile. Fire. You're going to hear more alarms going off. All kinds of red lights. Well, you got fire. The engines are firing. You won't fire. <laughs> And the last thing, Commander, is liftoff. Lift 58 seconds from the time we turn those keys, this Titan II missile with its nine megaton nuclear device is heading toward target two. It's going to be there in about 30, 35 minutes. Excuse me. About 30, 35 minutes. Sorry, I can't write and talk. Talk to you about and it's going to, I'll tell you more about ground versus air versus in, 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 in the silo, but it's going to literally vaporize target two. It will cease to exist as a part of this earth. And I'm going to give you details of that when we go down here, okay? Now, 
we go down to the side of it. This, this, this is a little souvenir for you. Uh, what does it say in red? Turn, I turned the key. Yeah, she, she says she turned the key. You heard her confess, right? Because we're going to go down and see if the missile's there. If it's not, you have a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> okay, we're going to the side of the door. So what was that uh, red light that was beeping uh, above the door? Uh, yeah, there's... Things are activated. Uh, okay, you know, cool. Things are happening, yeah. That's cool, that still works. <laughs> but the real thing is not happening, that's what's good. Yeah. Uh, You're a little bit on the side, but either way, yeah. Yeah, still. Uh, I, did, I do know one thing for sure. I don't know what the target is, but if you get your head on this, yeah. you, you, you're not going to hurt the steel. Oh yeah, no, you're gonna hate, you're, you'll hurt yourself, but that's about it. <laughs> it's really gonna hurt. And you know there was no height mm -hmm. requirement or, or, or limitation. Yeah. Okay, you can spread it out here. We have two more viewing platforms here. There's the missile. Here. These two were put in by the museum. That's an original one there. Uh, this is for maintenance access for right here. Wow. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. It's Oh, she's going, you spread out, it's already out, you spread out. You got a pretty small one, that's the way. That is so cool. All right, now, any Star Trek fans made a chance? Okay, yep. did you see Star Trek First Contact? Yep. Do you remember when Jean-Luc Picard, Captain, and Dad are looking at the missile, the silo? That's here. They literally were standing right there. Oh, that's it was awesome. Filming. Right here. Oh, really? I'm a, I'm a crazy trick, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, get back to normal stuff. Yeah. I'm going to get this in here. All right, so over here you got some you got some cool stuff. You got the fuel for the missile right here, which is in these tanks. Um, you got the silo right up there. And then you got the engine, which they talked about in the video that you watch when you get here. Here's the engine for the Titan II missile. So pretty cool stuff. Not very fuel efficient, as they say. So don't touch when you're here. It's cool to see, but yeah, don't touch. We have the silo, which is not open. The only part that they have open is here. And let's see if I can... There's a lens on the glass. So that's what it looks like down there. Just finished up the tour. It was an awesome event. I mean, awesome tour of the site. So if you like any of the, if you're a history buff, Cold War nostalgia, any of that, definitely come check this place out. Really worth, it was just really worth the drive. Uh, I drove down from Phoenix to check this out. Um, they have, actually it was just cool. A little known fact about this site is they actually filmed Star Trek First Contact here. So the missile scene that you see with Jordy, and it was, it was uh, no sorry, it was Picard and Data. Data being played by Brent Spiner, Picard being played by, oh God, what's the guy's name? I'm drawing a blank right now. Berate me in the comments for this. Um, in any case, that's where that scene was filmed, where they're like in the silo, that's where that scene happened. So they actually do a, director's tour which actually they get to you know you can go out and reenact that scene which is really cool so if you're a trekkie definitely come down here and do that if um, I'm trying to think what else they have here that you can actually go inside the silo they take you down to the command and control but if you do the director's tour it's a more in-depth tour so definitely come down and check that out they also just uh, launched their YouTube channel and again they have some memorabilia in here from Star Trek which is kind of cool and just from the base itself. Um, also the people that are recommissioning, or not recommissioning, but digging up these old Titan II sites. So the way they imploded them, they, they imploded the silo, that's all they did. So they just blew up the, the top door there, essentially, and refilled it, everything with gravel and then concrete. They did that with the, with the access point as well. So people that are buying these old sites are digging them up, and there's still equipment down there. Uh, obviously the stuff that they didn't take out, there's still some equipment down there. So these people who are digging these sites up, like this channel, uh, Death Wears Bunny Slippers, which shout out to you, man. Cool channel, I've been following that build. They actually, like some of these people, they'll sell memorabilia from when they're digging up their Titan stuff because maybe there's something missing. You know, people want to buy certain objects from the museum, which is cool, it's a piece of mem uh, memorabilia. 
um, those guys work with the museum here and get some cool stuff for for the museum and then also cool stuff that you can take home with you. Um, trying to think what else. Um, I mean, you can see the missile from the top of the silo. So, I mean, all this stuff that you saw there, it's pretty cool. But definitely, if you're in the area, come check this place out. Um, they're down in the town of Satria, which is maybe like 20 minutes south of Tucson. Definitely worth the drive from Phoenix today to get down here. If you guys want to see anything else, like cool military nostalgia like this, please leave a comment and let me know where you want me to go to, where you want me to check out, and then I'll, uh, I can see if I can work that into my schedule. So, as I like to end with all my videos, stay classy everyone, thanks for subscribing, please like, comment, do all that fun stuff, share the channel, I mean, it's a cool channel, I mean, if you're watching it, you got this far, you obviously liked it, or you just went waiting to write a nasty comment down below, either way, you know, Share it, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and stay classy, everyone. Thanks for watching.